Today we're doing a video on glass blowing, particularly hand blown glass. The materials, the process, the team of people that go into creating these incredible objects. So a session in Hot Shop is incredibly collaborative. Often a team of people are assembled to create even one object. Each team works under a master gaffer. They're there to control the process and really guide everybody through the realisation of the work. At the heart of every hot shop is a furnace, running at over a thousand degrees, 24 hours a day, all year round. It's topped up weekly with raw soda lime silica that is melted down into becoming the clear pot of glass. This is what everybody draws on in the workshop. Another critical piece of equipment in the hot shop is the glory hole. It's used to add heat back into the glass. You're in a constant state of movement. They're blowing into the pipe. This introduces air and starts to inflate the bubble. So this bubble is continuously manipulated using gravity, tools, the glory hole and the team of people to control this form. This can stretch over hours depending on the scale and complexity of the work. So the introduction of colour can be achieved in so many different ways. In this video we're using colour bars made up of different metal oxides. So once you've selected your colour and the amount that you want to use off the bar, it's placed into a kiln to be brought up to temperature. It's then picked up on a steel rod and heated further until it can be dropped over the top of the first gather of clear glass. It's then worked on a table called a marba to stretch that colour over the clear glass before it goes back into the furnace to have another gatherer of glass over the top. So wooden blocks are a really common tool in the process of blowing glass, often made from a fruit wood or any other timber that has a low amount of sap. They're sculpted in a form that helps the gaffer manipulate the shape and control it at different stages of the process. Timber is wonderful because it can disperse the heat and it also adds a layer of steam in between the molten glass. So wooden paddles are also really important in the process. They're often used to help protect the gaffer and shield them from the heat, but they're also wonderful at sculpting and shaping the bubble. So the burn finish on the panel is actually really important as it introduces a layer of carbon between the timber and the glass, making sure that it doesn't stick to the part. So one of the ways that a gaffer can get really close to the hot glass and start to sculpt it by hand is using a pad of newspaper. Layers and layers of newspaper are rolled and folded together and then soaked in water. This allows the glass blower to get really close to the object and start to sculpt that form and manipulate the glass by hand. Depending on the desired form being created, it's really common to transfer the work to a punty. So this is an additional pipe that has a small gather of glass at the end of it. The punty's pressed onto the opposite side of the bubble. The gap is then going to introduce a small amount of water to shock the glass and allow it to be broken off from the main pipe. So the gaffer now has access to the other side of the bubble and can really open this form up. This is where a blowtorch is critical in adding heat back into some of those areas that are rapidly cooling. Going between the glory hole and the bench and the blowtorch to maintain heat evenly in the part. If the glass cools down too quickly, the molecular structure can change and it can drastically weaken the glass and it can even explode. So the work's broken off from the pipe, quickly taken over to the annealer and brought down to room temperature over 24 hours. This ensures the glass can now be handled and worked through the next few stages of the process. The way a gaffer and a team of glass artists work through a project, experimenting with the material in a continual session of movement, their understanding of material science and dedication to their craft is truly inspiring. I really hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about the process of glass blowing. 
It's an incredible craft and one that requires a huge amount of time, energy and resources. I'd personally like to thank Master Gaffers Annette Blair and Tom Rowney, and to the team at the Canberra Glassworks, Amy Fodcham for giving us access to this facility and allowing us to share with you this beautiful process. I hope you're all really well and look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers.